Put your hands together and give a warm, catch your eyes, you start welcome to everybody, Mr. Mark Shea! I have never seen this. Thank you very much. Come on, keep it going. Give yourselves a round of applause. Hey. Tell you Hi, people over here. Look, I got my own private audience. How cute is that? Get, I'm telling you, give yourselves a round of applause. Come on, I want to hear a big round of applause. Okay, now you're just being, you know, overbearing with this. But I cannot remember when I've seen a nice looking bunch of people. Seriously. Yay. This medical marijuana is fucking me up like you wouldn't believe. So I can, I know for a fact that none of you people are from Rhode Island. You can't be from Rhode Island. It's going to snow tonight. You should be out buying bread and milk. Come on, what the hell's wrong with you people? For God's sakes. Now, we're going to have a great show tonight, and uh, we have repair kits up at the desk on the odd chance that any of you actually do laugh your ass off. I know you may think that's kind of weird, but a couple of weeks ago, there was a woman sitting like right over here at this table. She laughed her ass almost completely off, fortunately or unfortunately, got caught in her thong, and they had to get the jaws of life, and it, it just got ugly. But, but um, it was well, probably ugly to start with, but, but there you go. Hey, listen, do you have a minute? i got to tell you a story about when I, because I'm up here for like a while, so I don't know if you guys got time. Do you have time? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was coming through the casino, um, through the non-smoking section. Thank God I was able to get some of my secondhand smoke on the way over here. But um, uh, it, it was really cool. There's this, there's this little old blind guy, and he's like, aggravated he's like pumping twenty dollars at a time into this goddamn machine and he's just swearing and he's banging on it. he's all pissed off and I said hey buddy what's going on what's what's wrong he says I've been playing this fucking thing all day and all I do is break even I didn't really have the heart to tell him he was playing a change machine no, 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 no. yeah so uh, anybody here buy bread and milk today because it's gonna snow you, you are from Rhode Island. That's awesome. All right, well, you know what? we got a nice small audience tonight, so I'm going to get to know each and every one of you individually. Um, we'll start with these people over here. Oh, let's sit over there. He won't see us. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Lincoln. Lincoln. Ooh, well, fat, so you walked here. Yeah, yeah, fat shit. Nobody fucking walks in Rhode Island. That, that's amazing. Well, the thing is, though, you know, when, when we have a snowstorm, let me move this. I can't see you. Um, when we have a snowstorm and people run out and buy bread and milk, and I actually had to go buy milk and bread today because I didn't have any. And, and don't, when you guys do that and it's about to snow, do you feel weird? <laughs> you kind of almost feel ashamed to do it. So when I went into the store, I decided to do something different. I figured, you know, I'm just going to fuck with people. I ran into Stop and Shop and I just yelled, Where are the avocados? <laughs> it's got to snow. I need avocados. Where are they? There aren't any more over here. <laughs> I was asked to leave. Um, are, we all, are we Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New I know it's a little bit later, but Happy New Year. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I usually get like Happy New Year back to me. Happy New Year back to you. Instead of getting like, fuck you from these guys over here. <laughs> you are from Rhode Island. All right. That's awesome. Where are you guys from? Whoa, did you say Fall River? Shake my hand, Fall River. All right, Believe. my home and native land, Fall River. Let's hear it for Fall River over here. Woo! Fall River. What's your name? Ryan, we're about to Fall River. Oh, South End, okay, cool. Fall River, awesome, awesome, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Plus you made me lose my train of thought, but uh, uh, we just had New Year's Eve. Now, uh, did it, uh, round of applause, did any of you guys go out and do anything on New Year's Eve? Okay, clearly, um, you guys stayed home apparently, right? Well, I was, I went out on New Year's Eve, but I was the designated driver on New Year's Eve. Can I just, can I just kind of give you a casual review of what my night was like? Because we went to Waterfire, and then we went to a bar downtown, and I don't know where it was. So I'm standing there at this bar with my O'Doul's. Now, I drink O'Doul's because I like the bloat and I can't stand the buzz, so, so that's why I drink it. But I'm standing there with, uh, I'm standing there with my O'Doul's. Here's me as the designated driver at the, at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's me as a designated driver. Now, in the meantime, my buddies are running around like fucking maniacs. They're like monkeys on crack, right? So I, I finally go and I say, Tom, Tom, no. You're not going to climb the state house and get the spear out of the fucking guy's hand. It sounds like a good idea now, but we're not going to do it. It won't fit in the car. All right? So I, I don't know if any of you people have been designated drivers before, but, you know, I pity you and I feel bad for you if you are. But that's, that's just kind of my little thing. Um, Fall River guy. I want to talk about Fall River a little bit. Uh, let's, let's find out where these folks are from. Where are you guys from? I'm from Connecticut. Connecticut. I'm not from So you don't know where you're from. You're in the witness relocation program. <laughs> you're stoned, or what is it? You don't know how you got here. She is from Rhode Island. So where are you actually living now at this point in time other than in your car? Hampton, Connecticut. You're here tonight. Why? What's your name? What is it? Jess. Jess's birthday, everybody. Come on, say hi. Happy birthday, Jess. Awesome. Well, Brian, right? And your love and the lovely Mindy. Mindy. Okay, I don't remember anybody's name, so you know, I'll, I'll do the best I can. Um, I, like Ryan, am, are from Fall River, and I want to tell you a little bit about my native uh, city. Fall River is the city of lowered expectations. Am I right? Okay. Brian, test. What's the motto of the city of Fall River? He's from Fall River. Why would he know that? All right, and that just goes to show, you know, about Fall River. The motto, ladies and gentlemen, of the city of Fall River, Massachusetts, is "We'll try." <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? We'll try? What the hell? You know, and, and it's on the police cars, isn't it? Because I know you probably spend a lot of time in police cars. Oh, I don't think they have it in the back seat of the police car, but they have it on the side of the car. You know, like usually when you're over the, over the thing in the first kid, yeah, you can probably see it. Yeah, we'll try, ladies and gentlemen. We'll fucking try. Why don't they just make it, fuck it, go do it yourself, because I can't be bothered. Okay? So I'm here tonight from Fall River. We'll try. Barack Obama is back in Washington. He just spent a week in Hawaii. You know why he's there? Because he's from Chicago. And do you know what the motto is for the city of Chicago? I will. Now that inspires. That's why I'm here and he's there. You know who else is from Chicago? A couple of years now? Sully Sullenberger, the guy that landed the plane on the Hudson. Remember that? Yeah. Round of applause for Sully. Fantastic. I can just kind of imagine what happened, you know? He's in the cockpit, flying the plane, gets a little bumpy. What's going on here? Double bird strike, both engines are out. Sully, can you land this plane? Can you save us? Oh shit, I'm from Chicago, I will. Imagine if that son of a bitch was from Fall River. <laughs> Sully, double bird strike, both engines are out. Can you land this plane? Can you save us? We'll travel. <laughs> Whole different outcome is all I'm saying. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I live in North Providence, Rhode Island. Ooh, right close to you guys. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You live in Lincoln. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I have a Saturn, so I can't live in Lincoln. That's right. However, got their own show going on over there. <laughs> And I think I want to be in that show. Uh, I'm in North Providence now, and, and what a culture shock it was. It was a fun culture shock moving from Fall River to North Providence because I, I are you Portuguese? He's the other guy from Fall River, it's not Portuguese. All right. All right, Irish. I'm Irish Italian. That's a, what a fucking mess that is. But um, uh, I'm, from Fall, I'm from Fall River, and, and it's a heavy Portuguese uh, population there. And actually, most of the Portuguese are quite heavy. But um, uh, I moved to North Providence now, where it's 99.9% .9 Italian, and it's very strange. As a matter of fact, the, uh, anybody here from North Providence besides Eric? There you go. All right, cool. The official <laughs> greeting for the town of North Providence is... How are you doing? <laughs> and you got to throw your arms out, and you've got to throw your head back, and most of the people in North Providence are carrying microphones for some strange reason. But uh, that's the official greeting, and that was the lady at Stop and Shop. What are you doing? I mean, I went there, it was crazy. I, I, I went there the other day, uh, just before Christmas. Uh, I had to get eggnog and toilet paper. <laughs> because trust me, after you drink a quart of eggnog, 
you are going to need toilet paper. So I gotta go to Christmas dinner, and I gotta get my stuff, and I gotta get out of there, right? Now, I wanna get out of there quick because it's Christmas Eve, and I got things to do, and I don't wanna be in a fucking grocery store to begin with. This probably happens to you all the time. You look for the line where you're gonna get out quickly, right? Of course, Lincoln over here has people do their shopping for him because he's gonna have money. <laughs> but, uh, but I see the line that I think is gonna go fast that I don't have to worry about, right? Sure as shit, slows down to a crawl. You know what's going on? A fucking cashier is having an endless conversation with the customer, oblivious to what's going on. Does that not piss you off, Lincoln? Ryan, if you didn't go to hold, if you didn't go hold up variety stores and actually had to a grocery store, would that piss you up too? <laughs> All right. Unbelievable. Yeah. So here's what's going on, right? They're, they're, they're chatting away. They don't know. They're, they're oblivious to me. Here's where it got a little bit strange, though, guys. I was in the self checkout. <laughs> okay. Apparently, Lincoln's not going to get it, but the rest of you, I think, did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the self-checkout. And what's going on is the self-checkout lady is going, move your bananas to the belt. Who said that? I heard somebody say it over here. You, you shop there. Yeah, and the guy had his GPS in his pocket. And it kept going, turn right, 300 yards. And none of them would shut the fuck up and I couldn't get out of there. So it kind of pissed me off. That's all I'm saying, you know? Um, so I got my stuff and I finally got out of there, which was a good thing. Um, but I thought to myself, you know, the, the self-checkout lady voice is nice, isn't it? Hi, folks, welcome. Thought you could sneak in unnoticed. What's your names? Late and later, thank you. OK, can I get you something? How about a watch? Oh, bam. Oh, look, they said, when we go in there, let's sit down in the corner behind the pole so the guy will pick on us. You thought I was going to pick on you, didn't you, over there? Look, they're not, you're not even looking at me, you guys. Right over there, look, look, they're not even looking. Hi. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome crowd. You guys, you guys are really awesome. This is going to be the little audience that could, all right? <laughs> I'm thinking. So, um, um, round of applause. Do you guys use the self-checkout at Stop and Shop? Now, that's, that's very interesting because when I, uh, when I do this bit, a lot of times people get angry and and because they're union people and you know stop and shop is union and and it's it, self-checkouts taking jobs away from people but quite frankly i don't give a shit and i'll tell you why um i used to exclusively go to cashiers but i just got tired of the drama and i decided to check my own shit out i used to go to barbara now barbara was nice but barbara was one of those ca uh, cashiers that would tell you her entire life story and all her trials and tribulations and it just wore on me the last time i went to her she said, oh, yeah, my boyfriend's mad at me. And I said, oh, why, Barbara? And she said, well, I bought him a double cheese pizza last night, and he didn't want to eat it. And I said, well, why not? And she said to me, well, he told me he's lactose intolerant. And I said, well, what did, what did you say to him? And she said, well, I told him we have to be nice to people from all nations. <laughs> And then she started talking about the explosive diarrhea that happened afterwards. That was, and she had my interest then, but that was a whole other thing. And then I stopped going to her because I didn't want to hear about it. And I went to Dorothy. Now, Dorothy was cute. She was this little short lesbian with a lot of tattoos and a lot of piercings. So I said to Dorothy one night, I said, Dorothy, uh, what's new? Again, a mistake. So she takes her foot, she throws it up on the counter. She pulls up her pant leg and shows me the unicorn tattoo that she has. By the way, I borrowed her shoes tonight. You like them? <laughs> Quite nice. So I said, you know, Dorothy, that's really nice and everything, but could you take your fucking foot out of my cake? So that's why I go to the self-checkout now. Excuse me. Now, I mentioned I'm from Fall River before. Maybe a hundred times. Uh, lowered expectations and all. That's why I go to the self-checkout. Because when you swipe your card, what does it say? It says, your stop and shop card has been accepted. I need to get my acceptance wherever I can, folks. <laughs> but I thought what would be cool would be, let's change the voices. Let's get the option of another voice. And I thought, since I'm in North Providence now, why don't we make it the Italian Goomba voice? So you swipe your card, and he goes, 
Whoa, hey, big fucking deal. Friday night, you're out there buying fucking groceries. Don't you have a fucking life, you asshole? Yeah. So he scan all your stuff and he goes, that'll be $14.95. Hey, put the fucking shit in the bag. Get your fucking ass out of here, you rat bastard. <laughs> like I got time to watch you put groceries away. That'd be a great one, don't you think? Perfect. The, the, the other one I think would be kind of cool is the Jewish mother voice, also known as the Italian mother voice, the Puerto Rican mother voice, any mother voice on the planet. You swipe your card and she goes, Oh, look who has time to buy groceries but doesn't seem to be able to find time to call their father. <laughs> Don't worry about it, I know you're not ever gonna call me. I only had you, I only was in labor for 44 days. <laughs> It still hurts when I sit, but that's all right. And look at all this food you're buying. You're not buying good food. What's the matter with you? Why don't you buy a nice brisket? And when are you gonna bring a girl home? Or the slightly over the top gay voice, swipe your card, the self checkout guy goes, hi there. Slightly. Hi honey, oh look at you, it's Friday night. You're buying groceries. Are you going through a breakup girlfriend? I think you are because you're buying a lot of comfort food. You got ring dings, ho hos, yodels, doodads, chocolate ice cream. Girlfriend, you keep eating that shit, you're never gonna get a fucking guy. I mean, seriously, do you own a mirror? And if you do, what the hell do you see when you look in it? That's all I wanna know. And by the way, honey, get your shit and get out of here because there's a hot looking cop I wanna talk to. <laughs> and the last one, this is a prototype. I don't know how it's gonna work out. It's not working out too well at my stop and shop. It's the <laughs> Al Qaeda terrorist voice. <laughs> Yeah, apparently you swipe your card and it goes ah! The problem with it is everybody drops all the shit and runs out of the store because they think it's a fire alarm. <laughs> That's where the big applause comes in. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I said the little audience is good. I think you gotta try a little harder, but that's okay. Thank you very much for paying attention. Uh, thank you for listening to me. I appreciate it. Give yourself a big round of applause.